and they took the hospital out from the hospital to the streets. It doesn't matter who you get now, you can get decent pain relief, you can get a drip up for fluid if you're dehydrated. This weekend, more than 60 former men and women who helped pioneer the paramedic profession will come face to face with Dr Raj himself in a Newcastle gathering all about saying thanks. These great big issues that were massive, groundbreaking uh, things when we started doing them, defibrillating people out in the streets was just unheard of. Samantha Bong, MBN News. Hunter, train enthusiasts will get a rare chance to hitch a ride with a steam locomotive early next month. It's part of centenary celebrations for one of the region's oldest private railways. Retired more than 30 years ago, barely any 10-class steam locomotives seen here hauling coal across the valley in 1983 three, remain in working order. There's very few functioning steam locomotives in New South Wales at this point in time. Keeping number 18 running has been a passion project for years. The century-old engine can be temperamental. It's been relatively smooth. We've been fortunate enough to get some specialist people to, to repair and maintain the locomotive for us. The now heritage-listed workhorse will briefly return to service on December 8. The South Maitland Railways hosts its centenary celebration on a 125-year-old line. I'm not sure there's many businesses can say they've been doing the same thing in the same location for 125 years. People will be able to buy a ticket on those passenger cars, come from the rally ground, come into East Greta Junction where they'll be able to see some exhibits on display. For more information, visit Maitland Council's website. Your proceeds of the day will go to the locomotives so we can run them more often. Sam Burberry, NBN News. Still to come tonight, Donald Trump rules out punishing Saudi Arabia over the killing of a journalist. today's exclusive deal. Tallow and Lifestyle Resort's Big Ride Home Designs are perfect for family visits and lock up and leave for holiday escapes. Move up to a spacious lifestyle. Visit resortliving.com.au paying tax quarterly in advance, let them pay it yearly, inject $70 billion into the economy, create demand, massive job growth and unemployment, wipe out the deficit. When $70 billion is spent by individual taxpayers, Australia gets 10% GST, extra $7 billion every time it's spent. We can use our money better than government. More hospitals, schools, a rising living standard, vote one, United Australia Party. Authorised by James McDonald for the United Australia Party prison. Have you got an amazing deal? Super savings store wide plus 16 months interest free. No deposit, no interest with 60 equal monthly payments until November 2023. This is your call to action. Get in quick to score a knockout deal. Super hot prices, massive range, all the big brands, everything you want and need under one roof plus 60 months interest free. Get in store or get online. We we'll make it easy this Christmas. Amazing deals. Super savings now at Harvey Norman. Be quick before they're gone. Newcastle Permanent is Australia's Home Lender of the Year, again. So instead of searching for a better home loan, you can do just about anything else. Get a great home loan and get on with life. Introducing Newcastle's newest Mitsubishi and Suzuki dealership. Kelly Mitsubishi and Kelly Suzuki, now open at Pacific Highway Gate 10. Kelly's got your car. 
is an ever-changing range of white goods at the Harvey Norman Clearance Centre Broadco. Factory seconds, scratch and dent stock, discontinued models and run-outs, all at clear amount prices. Big brands, big choice, big savings. Plus, lots of bulk buy deals on brand new stock. Ovens, cooktops, fridges, washing machines, dryers and dishwashers, all heavily discounted. You'll save heaps. It's the smart way to save on white goods now at the only Harvey Norman Clearance Centre in Newcastle and the Hunter. Go in and save. Nine ways broad meadow. Feel like you're being left behind by settling for one of the big four banks? Well, don't wait for a sign to start getting ahead. Discover the way banking should be with Newcastle Permanent. More than 50 people have been killed in a suicide bombing in the Afghan capital, Kabul. The attacker targeted a gathering of Islamic scholars marking the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad. Donald Trump has declared there will be no punishment handed to Saudi Arabia over the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The outspoken critic of the Saudi regime was tortured and murdered inside a consulate. But the US president says he won't jeopardize America's business ties. It's the season of presidential pardon. I hereby grant you a full pardon. A Thanksgiving tradition, Donald Trump saves a turkey from the oven. Donald Trump saves a turkey from the oven and then turns the heat down on Saudi Arabia over the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. It's a very complex situation, it's a shame, but it's, it is what it is. It's been six weeks since the outspoken critic walked into the Saudi consulate in Turkey, where he was tortured, murdered and dismembered. In a statement, the president says, the world is a very dangerous place, noting it could very well be that the crown prince had knowledge of this tragic event. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he did. In response, Mr. Khashoggi's publishers called the decision a betrayal of long-established American values. The president calls it America first. They're buying hundreds of billions of dollars worth of things from this country. If I say we're going to cut it off, they will get the equipment, military equipment and other things from Russia and China. Republican Senator Rand Paul tweeting, I'm pretty sure this statement is Saudi Arabia first. Both the White House and the Congress had vowed to punish those responsible. The President today effectively declaring case closed. The administration that put business first, now hoping for business as usual. In the United States, Charles Croucher, NBN News. Meanwhile, the US President's daughter, Ivanka Trump, is under fire for using a personal email account for government business. Donald Trump repeatedly blasted Hillary Clinton for doing the same during the presidential election campaign. Ivanka, a senior White House advisor, says she was not familiar with the rules. Mr Trump has dismissed the incident as fake news. More than $100,000 worth of fresh chicken was lost when an out-of-control semi-trailer crashed into a freeway barrier in Melbourne. The truck was left dangling off the, the edge of an overpass and cars below only narrowly avoided being crushed by debris. Incredibly, no one was hurt. Even the 50-year-old truck driver escaped unscathed. For families with children who are ill or that have special needs, Christmas can be a challenging time. So tonight, they're getting some well-earned early cheer, with Variety throwing them a giant party. Reporter Georgia Ma joins us live, and Georgia, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at McDonald Jones Stadium. It's festive mayhem here. We've got 2,000 kids from across northern New South Wales here for the Variety Children's Christmas Party. The charity helps kids who are sick, disadvantaged, or who have special needs. So tonight is all about them and giving their parents a little break. Unfortunately, a lot of kids at Christmas time, a lot of families, um, don't have as good a Christmas as they should. And at Variety, we believe that all kids in the Hunter and further afield deserve a fair go in life. And this party is all about ensuring that the kids don't miss out Christmas time. We've got everything here from petting zoos to karaoke, karaoke, sorry, even reindeer rides. But by far our most popular attraction, attraction is our guest of honour. And joining us live tonight is Santa and Mrs Claus. Welcome, guys. Hi, how are you? Now, what are all the good Hi. boys? 
boys and girls asking for this Christmas? Oh, trampolines, motorbikes, playstations, all the good stuff. It's a very long list. It is, it certainly is, plus the LOL dolls and the um, La La Loopsies and everything else. Well, good luck for Christmas Day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Well, the festivities are going to continue well on into the evening here. We've got a massive Christmas concert on the football field and we'll all be leaving here with a little extra Christmas spirit and I'm sure on a very large sugar high. Back to you guys. Thanks, Georgia. Georgia Ma there in the thick of the Christmas spirit. Dust, storms and snow. It's not the weather forecast you'd expect at this time of year. But that's what we're being told to brace for tonight, with the driest parts of New South Wales already copping the brunt. In the far west of New South Wales, this is what's on the horizon. A wall of red dust charging towards people and their properties in Broken Hill and parts of the Riverina. Residents took cover as the storm rolled across the dry land. Dust storm and hell goes straight into the house. Can't stop the fuck. It's so dense you can even see it on the satellite. So health authorities are urging people with breathing problems to be prepared. The strong winds associated with this dry soil with lack of vegetation is the perfect condition to pick up the dust, lift it up into the atmosphere and bring it east with the winds. But that's not all. Gale force winds will also lead to very high fire danger for Sydney and the Hunter region over the next few days. Over the next few days. While the south of the state could see temperatures drop up to 10 degrees below average and snow fall down to 1,100 metres. Gavin Morris joins us now. And Gav, what exactly are we in for? Well, it's been an extraordinary day already. That dust has actually been falling as mud throughout parts of western New South Wales. Now, it's extreme fire danger for the Greater Hunter, so much so that a total fire ban has been put in place from midnight tonight. The Greater Hunter has missed out on the rain, but it's been beautiful across the northwest today. 30 to 40 millimetres from the Liverpool Plains across Tamworth to Gunnedah and Narrabri. That big rain ban is firing up storms across the northern rivers and the north northern New South Wales ranges. It'll push right across the state and into southern Queensland overnight and into tomorrow and then it's going to become very windy, particularly for the Greater Hunter over the next couple of days. All of your local details headed your way a little later. Thanks Gav. Ahead in the news. Graduation time for a class full of best friends. And a forklift driver's massive fail.